Excuse me. Yeah, what's the rush? Say, have we met? I don't think so. Sure, I remember. We danced at Ciro's one night. Oh, it's Ciro's. Yeah, I remember. Listen, I'm going to meet someone right now, but uh, I'll run into you again later. I'll save you a dance. Okay, I get it. I never know what you're up to. Maybe that's why you excite me so. If you take too long, he'll come looking. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> it says here parking is available at the snake pit lot across the street from the Hughes building. Survivor shall be validated. So we didn't have to pay $15 to walk half a mile, Scott. Yeah, duh. I didn't see it, right? Must have been in the fine print. Survivor shall be validated. <laughs> what is that? It's like, why don't we, like, ditch this party? Go to the club, get our groove on, find some real guys. Because <laughs> you know what? I'm not into weird tonight. The party will be held in the Penthouse Grand Ballroom of Howard Hughes Building. Uh, did you actually say Penthouse? Penthouse, yes. Oh, really? Oh, that sounds very high class. High class. Hmm. Oh, the last time they threw a high class party in this public toilet, Marlon Brando was skinny. Who's that? There's nothing weird about this party or Philip. He just happens to be a member of some horror film fan club. That's all. Besides, if you don't want to go, no one's forcing either of you. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Great. My mom's psychic said something amazing was going to happen to me this weekend, so I am definitely going. What about you, Scott? Well, in a word, pass. I'm going to go check out the snake pit. Just give me the invitation. I'll meet up with you guys later. All right, fine. Then I guess we'll just go alone. Yeah. Later, dog. Yo, dude! Jesus, Philip, what's wrong with you, man? Nothing a six pack wouldn't care. <laughs> so, did you uh, score? Yeah, it's in my pants. Really? No one would buy anything for us. Did you see anyone else show up yet? Uh, I saw Scott go into the, um, the snake pit thing, and uh, Mary and Kathy already went into the Hughes building. So, we should probably join them, because, you know, we don't want to miss the door prize. That's the building. Dude, I know it's the building, all right? Got time. Just wanna see who shows up.
go get our palms red. Wait, Samson, I've heard of him. He's famous, isn't he? Come on, we got plenty of time. No, for the party. Don't, let's go. Don't. Come on, come oh. on, come on. Is anybody here? Hello? Hey, look at all this cool magic stuff. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. You know, I guess it probably meant something to somebody, you know, in its day. <laughs> what is that? Hey, check it out. Hmm. The Femme Fatales of Hollywood. Kind of an odd book for a magic shop. I think life was more exciting back then. I mean, the men were so gallant and dashing. And the women were more... Pregnant, usually. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, look at this. Hey, hey, that looks a lot like you. Yeah, yeah it really does. <laughs> wow, strange, huh? Hmm. Hey, check this one out. Super old. Oh, I don't know how much that is. It's a rare Arabic translation of the Book of the Dead. I'm terribly sorry if I startled you. It was unintentional. I was in the storeroom when you entered. I am Raymond Sampson, and this is Wilson, my assistant. Oh, my dear. Kathleen. <laughs> okay, how did you know my name? Yeah, don't come any closer, okay? Nonsense, girls. Don't, don't be fearful. After all, what would you expect? I am a psychic. I see you're going to a party, which is to begin quite soon. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, you are psychic. I was born with a gift. Seventh son of a seventh son and all that. People don't appreciate such talents nowadays like they used to. When the Pharaoh Ramses wrote that book, people like me were celebrated. The ancients understood that past, present, and future are all, in fact, part of the same thing. They understood that time is like a circular river enter in one place and find the current sweeps you away, only to have you brought back to that same spot where you entered again and again and again, never to end. Psychics nowadays are ridiculed. In this scientific age, what cannot be physically observed simply doesn't exist. I often wonder how scientists explain Don't you, Kathleen? Yeah. Is a certain man named Hughes connected with this party you're going to? Yeah. Then you mustn't dare go. Why not? I see evil. I see, I see grave danger. I see a slinky silver Dress? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's time to go. Let's go. Oh, wait, girls. The reading's not over. We'll, we'll be back. No, no, no. We won't. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We will. No, no, we won't. Yeah, we will. No. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. We'll be back. No. My God. It was Kathleen. Wilson, go after them. I don't want anything to happen to her. So, what a geezer trying to bum out our trip. Just because you don't believe in psychics doesn't mean you should put him down. Besides, he knew my name and he knew about the party. Oh, please, he had a microphone in the shop. He was listening to us the whole time. He was just trying to scare us. Maybe, but I don't remember mentioning the party. And what about that photograph? It looked just like me. And sometimes I think I look just like Brett Midler. So. Oh, wait, the entrance has to be around the front. No, the invitation said to go through the alley. I think that might be it. The alley? You know, I just can't get over that photograph. Man, I can't believe it. That crowd was so dead out there. Damn. What's wrong? Are you hungry, baby? Around you, I suddenly lose my appetite. What was that thing you did with your tongue? Come on, love. I was out there trying to entertain the masses. Have some sushi with me. All you ever want to do is hit on groupies. Hey, uh, what about this party? It's catered. It says here we can eat for free. What do you mean, we? You got a mouse in your pocket or something? Yeah, what about your diet? Aw, oh, man, I had two cans of Slim Shake this morning before breakfast, and I'm still starving. I don't know what's wrong with me. Every time I don't eat, I get a migraine. 
So come on, Stacy. This is free food. Across the street, can we go? Let me see that. What the hell? It's a theme party on classic slasher shows. It says so right below food. Why would anybody invite your big ass to this kind of party anyway? <laughs> Hey, I happen to be a member of the Vincent Price fan club, and my grandfather was Bella Lugosi's manager. Bella La who? You know, that, that is the most ominous looking building I've ever laid eyes on. You know, it, it sure is a strange history, too. What do you know about its history? Well, uh, Howard Hughes owned it. I mean, it's half the reason I came tonight. You know, I wanted to check it out. You came for a building? Well, that's not the only reason I came, you know? I mean, like, uh, he used to throw these wild orgies on the rooftop, where his guests would just, you know, like, get all drunk, and then, you know, pour vegetable oil all over each other and roll around in, like, a giant pile. <laughs> really? Yeah. A lot of people died in this building and in a fire back in the 40s. And they say it happened during one of his orgy parties. Rumors at the time say that all of the exits were locked. Now, why do you suppose that was? Well, Howard Hughes hushed up the investigation, you know. He, he uh, paid off all the victims' surviving families, and he had the place entirely rebuilt. Hughes, huh? Did I ever tell you I was related to him? Really? That's what my mom says, man. Like a cousin or something. Great uncle. <sighs> okay, I'm going to the bathroom. Watch my car. Well, Philip. Watch my car. Okay. Back in ten. Let's come back quick. I can't believe Scott just left. Whatever. We're gonna have so much more fun here. Oh, hey. Looks like we can't get in. Look. Just relax. I'm sure there's another entrance somewhere. Let's try back on Hollywood Boulevard. Why? Oh, oh, God, what a dump. Nice girls shouldn't be in places like this. And then I guess we don't have a problem. <laughs> Oh, come on. I, I really, I don't want to go in here. There's probably not going to be any cute boys, so. You're such a hoochie. Stop being such a wimp. Oh, God. No! Don't go in there! Come on now, baby, come on now, baby, come on now, baby, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What the hell? I can use these things. I mean, I'm going to have to hang out places like this, but I'm never going to be chief of police. You ran the red light! What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were dead. Uh, so don't, 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 don't do it, I'll go get your head. <laughs> Well, how much longer do you want to wait? If it doesn't come in another minute, we'll take the stairs. The stairs? Yeah, you're kidding, right? <laughs> okay, why don't we go around the front and take the main elevator like normal people? Because we have to use the rear entrance, that's why. Okay, you're taking the stairs, you're going alone. Fine, you can just go back to the club with Scott. <laughs> I think I'd rather die first. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> I'm just not hungry anymore. That's all you talked about was food. Look, whatever. Man, I can't believe Robin was tripping on me about sticking my tongue out of those girls. I don't give a damn about them, all right? Well, I'm just trying to work the move, you know? I know, but you just gotta realize that it's part of the show. We're different people on stage, bro. Yeah, you're right. Hey, this is it. Man, this can't be the place. Well, it's, it's dark. That's the whole motif. It's supposed to be scary. Damn, man. <laughs> Stop breathing. Son of a bitch, step on it, Stan. Okay. Now.
You know, I have this strange feeling like I've been in here before. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We grew up together. I know everywhere you've been, and trust me, you have never been here before. No, I can't explain it. I feel like I know all about this place or something. Oh, great. Now we're stuck in this damn thing. Look, I'm, I'm sure there's an emergency call box or something. Just don't panic. Do you realize how old this elevator must be? Okay. All right, so I'm claustrophobic, right? I'm not gonna panic, no, no, not me. I mean, here we are, what, stuck between like the 10th and 11th floors in this damn thing? Okay, I'm so cool. Kathy, all right, I think I'm gonna scream. Look, will you just shut up? I, I think I heard something. Oh shit. I heard that. Now I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I don't believe in y'all. Hey! This is like I got these glasses on need my ass can't see. be new on this job, but I ain't nobody's fool. Hello? Anybody down there? Shit, you better drop my shit. You better come out of there. I'm gonna call the cops on you. Is someone up there? Scare me! I ain't afraid of you! But I'm stuck in this catch-22, man. If I eat food, I get fat. And if I get any fatter, my pants ain't gonna fit. And you know I can't afford to buy new pants. I gotta get as much exercise as I can. <laughs> I can't. This place is great for criminal activity. Wait, you guys, every pore in my body is telling me don't go no further. What? Diane! Girls, come on! I'm personally responsible for your safety. I can't do this. But we must enter here! It's supposed to be spooky. <laughs> Besides, come on, you know karate. Okay, and if anybody should be afraid, is the fool who tries to kick you. <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Stupid. Actually, you do have a point there. Mm -hmm. I know. All right, what the hell? Nobody lives forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Party! Party! Oh, Sweet, we're in a movie studio. Yeah, I wonder why the entrances to the other floors were closed off, and this one wasn't. No clue, bro, but uh, maybe this will take us to an elevator, huh? Yeah, maybe. Let's go. Yo, Will, this don't look like the way to the elevator, man. I know, but check this stuff out. It's like we're in a World War II museum. Whoever uh, is throwing a party must own this Whatever. stuff. Whatever. The party ain't in here, okay? I say we get the hell back to those damn stairs. Hey, you over there. I'm not alone, bro. Wait up. Wait up. Wait up, Will. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's your name? <laughs> Are you here for the party? Honey, you sure got a strange sense of humor. What are you doing hiding in there? Do you at the party? Hey! Oh. What the hell wrong with you, man? What the hell is wrong with you? 
Right here, she, she was alive, she died. She gives me the, the, the stage leader's ghost. Ain't no damn ghost. Come on, man, let's go back to the club, all right, man? Get a load of this. Cool. Question cuts both ways. Well, well, I'm Whale, and this is my buddy Stacy, and we're going to the party upstairs. Well, you look pretty normal to me, Diane. Yeah, you too. You guys seen any ghosts yet? What do you mean, ghosts? What do you mean, yet? Whale had a close encounter with a redhead hocus pocus, and he got a wild imagination. <laughs> and imagination, my fat ass. She was real. She was young. She was pretty. And then I chased her to this casket, and I opened the lid, and she jumps out at me, and she kisses me right on the lips. That's it. I'm out of here. Let's go with him. Let's go with him, man. Let's go. <laughs> No, from upstairs. Definitely upstairs. We got a rescue up. We, we do? do? Yes. Oh. Kathy, somebody just tried to kill us. Are you hurt? No. No, but I want to go home now. Okay, let me get the door. Let's take the stairs. Okay, whatever. Whatever. See what color the car was. Yes, it was um, purple. And, uh, it, but it, it came and went in a giant hurry, so I, it sort of looked like a, um, a kayak with, with wheels, you know, sort of like a, like a 50s car, like a racing no, car. Officer, it was a Plymouth Prowler. From its description, it sounds like the car that was stolen from the snake pit last weekend. It's got to be on your hot sheet. How do you know so much about this car, miss? Oh, I'm um, Robin Ryder. I'm a singer. I work across the street. My drummer owns a car like that. It's pride and joy. Right. Thanks. So, what were you doing here? I'm sorry? You don't really seem like the type to scrounge through trash cans. No. <laughs> Actually, I was on a phone two of my friends who uh, I was w waiting in the car with we're all of us are going to this party up on the fourth floor of this building. Do you, you want to go? Yeah, I got two friends up there. It's that kind of Hollywood war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to go with my buddy Brandon, but he, he's not around. I, I have the invitation. So let's go. Let's go. So you're a singer? Yeah. There's my buddy Brandon. Oh, right when you need him. Brandon, uh, this is uh, Robin and vice versa. Plus all of the usual trite salutations. Like, Hi, hello, how are you? Shh. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, where have you been? I really have not given up hope. Well, I was looking for a bathroom. You ever try to find a bathroom around here? I haven't. Just one second, I gotta... What? I can 
recognize these? Yeah. yeah. I found these in the ignition of my car with the doors unlocked on Hollywood Boulevard. I, I know, dude, but I saw Kathy and Mary going, this guy followed him. Shh. Did you not say that you would watch my car? Did I not ask you to watch my car? I, I was going to watch your car, but then I thought our friends were in danger. Shh. I mean, I'm... I'm pissed at you. I know, I wasn't thinking. For the next half hour, I'm pissed at you. Not terribly pissed, but pissed. You think you need a uh, Nelby? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, it's not lined up. No. Dude, these things aren't working. We're gonna miss the door price. Why don't we take the stairs? What's 12 flights? You gonna go up 12 flights of stairs? No, I'll be just waiting around for a broken elevator. Okay, thank you. place is this? I don't know. It looks like an old junkyard or something. Dude, this sucks. Look, don't get your panties in an uproar. I'm sure there's an emergency exit somewhere around here. And we're together, so we're gonna be okay. Besides, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's probably coming from the party upstairs. It sounds really close. It's just an old mirror. Mm. Honey, you're letting your imagination do you in. Come on, let's go. Hey, look, it's open. Stuff still works? Wait, no, no, don't, don't, don't touch anything. Why not? I don't know, it just doesn't look safe. Ah, uh, you know what, this, this is all power, here's old stuff. Yeah. Action! You know, that's incredibly fascinating, Philip. But we have a party to go to, if you've not forgotten, and we're gonna be late! <sighs> Sorry about that, he ate a whole lot of paste when he was in kindergarten. I think it... Whatever. Hey, I recognize this mummy. Hey, did you guys ever see the curse of the Pharaoh's lips? Oh, come on, Philip. We got a party to go to, yeah, man. Yeah, we're just wasting time here. Uh-uh. I'm not leaving till you guys both see this. Otherwise, no one's going to believe me. You know what? I'm going to the party. I'll see you up there. You're lost. Come on. Come on. It's, it's cool. Come on. It's going to be very damn good. Yeah, yeah. That's disgusting. Don't you see, that's the beauty of the thing, all right? It took talent to create this. It's so scary real. Hey, you know who this looks like? Who? Your mother. Come on, you've totally underwhelmed me. You know what, dude? That wasn't cool what you said about my mom. Yeah, well, apologize for me next time you see her. I meant your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Philip! Come out, Philip. I don't enjoy your sick sense of humor. All right, asshole. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna count to five, and if you do not materialize on the count of five, I'm going straight up to the party without you. And I'm not gonna allow them to let you in should you decide to show up. You can find your own ride home, Philip! All right, here goes. One. Two, three, four. Run? 
Brandon, what a surprise. <laughs> Jeez. Now, now, now that was real. I'm not so sure, man. Look at this place. Nothing's real. Well, let's go check it out anyways. Yeah, let's go. Ladies first. Well, you yeah. know any martial arts? I know Taibo. Forget it. I'll handle it. You know, I think Stacy's right. I mean, the screaming has definitely had to be part of the party. You know, to create the proper mood. Whoever collected this junk is definitely twisted enough to do that. Hey, she's right, guys. Oh, yeah. So you're telling me that red-headed bombshell of a ghost that kissed me was a party favor? I don't buy that for one second. Party favors don't have rotten breath. Remember that movie, Alien? Yeah. Remember how realistic it was when the monster shot through the dude's chest? Mm -hmm. Hollywood can do that. It's a little bad breath, huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, let's forget about the screaming for a while, because I need to find a ladies' room. Are you guys coming? Okay. Whatever. Keep looking. I mean, we haven't searched the whole floor yet. It's the law, you know. I mean, you can't just have one set of stairs in a building like this. At the very least, there has to be a fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> Must be getting near the party. I'm starting to think this party is someone's idea of a big joke. I'll tell you what ain't a joke. We're lost. We've passed these creepy looking bodies three times, you guys. We're going around in circles. Well, you guys want to split up? No, no way! way. getting up to that party. Yeah, well, it's not really that hard to do in here. This place is a trip. Yeah, yeah, a bad one. Hey, have you seen any ghosts yet? Ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> this place is just some kind of creepy museum. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, listen, I'm Kathy, and I'm with my friend Mary. Where are you from? All over. My father was a musician. Do you guys hear that music? No, no, what music? It's some old music. Oh, there you are. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> well, this sucks.
losing it. Well, damn. Don't you think it's freaking crazy how we can't find a way out of here? No, it just reminds me of my first day of high school trying to find my new locker. <laughs> Where are you from? New York. New York. Man, when our parents got divorced, my mom, she made us move to freaking Downey. Freaking <laughs> Downey. Man, <Stop. laughs> that is worth death. Okay, freaking Downey sucks, but at least they have good parties there, okay? Yep. So what's with the word freaking? <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. I hate to bother you, but I need your help. I really, really hate to bother you, but I need help. I was wondering I, if you guys can tell me how to get downstairs. I just want to go home. Excuse me. Even ghosts gotta go sometime. I would know that, Diane. <laughs> the moment we get off of this floor, you guys were bagging it back home. Oh, come on, Diane. Forget about it, Kendra. This place sucks. <laughs> What's the matter, doll? Don't be so scared. A bit of impromptu sexual play is a healthy thing. It stimulates the glands. So why don't you join us? Expand your creative repertoire, Kathleen. Let yourself go for once. You're far too controlled. Do 
you know what Howard calls you when you're not around to hear? You're his ice princess. But you're not really icy, though, are you? You're every woman's dream, darling. Every woman's dream. <laughs> Invited to a party up on the 12th floor. I just saw my friend Philip get killed. Where, man? How? Huh? Where? On the floor with the equipment. You shouldn't have brought it. Oh, you shouldn't have had Diane. She wouldn't have come and nothing would have happened to her either. Look, okay, Will. You get out of here. Get Allison and Kendra out of here. You go call the police, okay? All right? Brandy, you going with them or you going with me? Cause I'm going to check out that screen, man. All right? I'll stick with you. Listen. All right. Stacy. Yeah. Careful, man. All right, man. No fear, dude. Mama didn't raise no fool. Let's go. We should have picked some kind of weapon down there, you know? I seen a lot laying around, man. No, I tried. They're not real. They're just movie props. This one. This place really creeps me out, man. It's fucked up, man. Okay, look. Let's split up, all right? You cover the right, I'll take the left. We're gonna circle this floor and we're gonna meet back here, all right, bro? Wait, 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 wait. What happens if something happens to one of us? Scream, stupid! Scream. Scream, all right? That's a good idea. Watch your ass, man. Me too, man. Jesus, You're God. here. Brandon, listen, we gotta get the hell out of here. I mean, I just saw a girl get killed. No, shh, shh. I know, I know. I just saw Philip get killed. Philip? Oh, God, what the hell is going on here? I don't know, but I know we need to get the hell out of here before the same thing happens to us. Where's Mary? I don't know. I, I lost her back there. I mean, we saw this girl with her head, and we okay, panicked and shh, ran. And shh, I... shh. Look, there's nothing we can do about that right now. We'll call the police when we get out of here. Come on, we gotta go. The music. I'm telling you, there's ghosts. Shh. Just keep your voice down. It's not ghosts. There's a killer in here, but it's not anything supernatural. It's an illusion. Please, God, let this be a real 
exit. I know I've always been a hoochie, but I don't deserve to die. We look for another way out. This place is enormous. I can't walk across this. I said you had to walk. Come on. Gonna carry me all the way? Of course, you're light as a feather. Oh, you're such a sweet guy. Shall we dance? Will you guys cut it out? Assistance. Please help me, man! I'm trapped! Come on! Allow me to give you a hand. Oh. Oh, stop! Damn it! Come on, you want to live, don't you? The hell yeah, I want to live! Help me! Get me out of here! Come on! Get me out of here! Maybe you're right. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't even think we're halfway to the far side yet. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, but it'll be worth it when we find an exit, though. Yeah, well, what makes you so sure? You guys, this place is huge. There's gotta be ways out of here. Where's that music coming from? 
I don't know. Yo, I'm not feeling this. Okay. I'm losing it. Me too. No, no, you're not. Hold on to this. We'll get you out of here, I promise. Okay. Come on. All right. Safe now. All right, let's go somewhere quiet where we can, where we can talk about it. Let's go get her. Let's go get her right now. Let's go. Oh my God, Kathy, it's me. It's oh me. God, Brandon. God, I'm so worried about. You. How did you escape that thing with the axe? I mean, I thought for sure to kill you. I don't know. I got lucky. Look, I think I saw a light back here. I don't think we're gonna get out of this building until we're supposed to. Well, that's really very philosophical of you, but I'm pretty sure the stairs are this way. Look, I don't think it matters what stairs we take or whatever else we might try to do. I mean, whatever, whoever has us in here has a purpose for us. And until we've served that purpose, we're not getting out. Oh my God. What? Oh my. That, that mannequin, it's, it's me. Yeah, it does. Coincidence. Come on, let's get out of here. No, it's not a coincidence. What are you doing? I'm gonna wear it. Turn around. You, you, you think you'd explain yourself to me? I mean, in a second ago, all we wanted to do was adios this place. Why this sudden urge to put that damn dress on? Because I'm supposed to. Isn't that obvious? No. Look, call it being psychic, call it whatever you want. I've had this feeling I've been in here before, ever since I set foot in this building. That's debatable, but even so, what the hell does that have to do with the dress? The ghosts, the murders, this mannequin, I mean, they're all connected. And now I'm dressed for whatever it is that's supposed to happen. You can turn around now. I, I never knew you could look like this. Trust me, I never expected to have to.
Look, don't take this the wrong way, but I think that your ghosts are figments of your imagination. I think that there's a rational explanation for what's going on here, and when we get out and we find the police, we'll know what's going on. That's the music. All right. Let's go meet a ghost. The invitation to the internal is locked. It was open before. All right, come on. There's a man entrance on Hollywood Boulevard. Good. There's no ghost. Let's go. No, this is somebody's office. Ooh, no, it's just another one of these movie sets. Come on, Kathy. No, look. Somebody's still using it. That's great, we've seen it. Can we please just go? Hey, check it out. That's the guy from the magic shop. He's a lot older now. Yeah, Raymond Sampson, that's definitely him. Listen to this. Raymond Sampson, boy wonder art director of such classic horror films as Phantom of the Opera and Frankenstein has just signed a five-year exclusive contract with producer entrepreneur extraordinaire Howard Hughes. So the costumes and the props are from the film Sampson's worked on. Then he must be our killer. No way, the guy's like a hundred. Besides, he can't even walk. Hey, listen to this. Shh! You wanna wake the dead? What is it? It's from June 1937. <sighs> Kathleen Broom fell to her death from the 12th floor balcony of the Grand Ballroom last night during a party given by Howard Hughes. A promising young actress had recently been signed to star in The Lady Vampire was rumored Rumored to have been Howard Hughes' fiance. It's interesting. No details of the circumstance of Miss Broom's death have as yet been released by Hollywood police, who are still sifting through the remains of a mysterious fire that swept the upper floors of the Hughes building after the incident. A spokesman for Mr. Hughes said the famous producer was not at the party at the time. That's fine, okay? This is enough. Can we please just go? Brandon, Broom was my mom's maiden name. She was an orphan. She never knew her mom. So Kathleen Broom was my grandmother. I mean, she had to be. We look exactly alike. Who cares who your damn grandmother was? Okay, nobody cares. She can go to hell for all I care. They can all go to hell. Brennan, what the hell is the matter with you? You. You are the matter with me. Come on. Brennan, let go. You're hurting me. Let go, Brenda. Step behind the desk, Kathleen. No. Phone the police. Brandon's the killer. Ridiculous, Kathy. You've known me since kindergarten. I'm not a killer. I'm freaked out. He's a killer. Look at him. He's walking. Yeah, yeah. How come you're walking? An old back injury, my dear. The wheelchair is a convenience. There's nothing much wrong with my legs. You want to tell her about the rage you feel at the inheritance your family lost, or shall I? What inheritance? I don't know what he's talking about. Brandon's great uncle was Brandon J. Hughes, Howard Hughes' nephew. His family should have received billions from the estate, but they never saw a penny. Because Brandon J. seduced Kathleen Broom and then murdered her. Those are fucking lies. Those are fucking lies and you take those back. What does that have to do with my friends? As a result of their liaison, Kathleen had a baby. She kept the child a secret. That baby was my mother. Yes. I don't believe him, Kathy. He's crazy. Oh, Brandon. Do tell. Hughes knew nothing of all this, of course. He fell in love with Kathleen and was planning to announce her engagement at a big party here in the 12th floor ballroom. But Brandon Jay was too jealous to allow that. So he murdered her. It was a suicide. It was no suicide. I was there. Brandon J. set a fire to conceal the murder and kill all the witnesses. But some of us survived. It was all hushed up, of course. Hughes hated publicity even more than he hated Brandon J. And my, my grandfather was cut out of the family inheritance. You ruined him. And that's why you killed everyone. Oh. Is that right? 
No. No. Kathleen Broom's death was a suicide. The, the fire was an accident. My side of the family would have been rich. Uncle Howard left billions, but we got nothing because your people ruined him. Oh, those poor Brandons. Everyone's always victimizing them. This Brandon showed up a few weeks ago. He didn't tell me his true name, and I didn't figure it out until too late. Foolishly, I showed this flattering fan all around the premises and allowed him to use the building undisturbed. He's the killer, Kathy. You murdered my friends for revenge? Call the police. No! Oh! Escape, Kathy. Make sure of that. I'm telling you the truth. There is a lunatic running around in this building killing people. Right, and it's just jam full of old movie stuff. I heard your story. My girlfriend is in there, right, officer? Listen, it's been vacant for 26 years, and it's been sealed shut as a fire hazard since 1983. Okay, look, if you guys don't get your dumb asses in there and break down this barrier, more innocent people are gonna die. Young lady, if this is a wild goose chase, you're going to jail. All right, get the bolt cutters. We're going in.
Lots of lovely young people lost their lives. That's why they put the fire doors in. They're solid as hell, baby. And I want them all. You shouldn't feel afraid, Kathy. All I'm gonna do is, is eat your fucking heart. Kathy. Hey, BJ, grab a dame and shake a leg, buddy. Step on it, guys. Tonight. I say sport, you haven't wandered into dear Kathleen yet, have you? 
She's looking for you. There's a young lady on the balcony, sir, who wishes to have a moment with you. Kathy. How nice of you to show up, Brandon. You bitch. Not again. Samson. Please, Kathleen, hold me. God, you saved my life. It's over now, darling. I've waited a lifetime for this, and now it's done. I'm not afraid of death. I, all my friends are. Dead. Are you sure this is your friend, Brandon? Yes, I'm sure, officer. I, I went to school with him. Now, can we go in, please, so I can look for my girlfriend? 